a while ago, I made a video showing you guys a power monitoring system. And the feedback I got was that it was a bit difficult because you actually had to remove the live wire to pass it through the little hole for it to sense the current. Now I've come across another one where it's got a little clip that opens up that allows you to fit it onto existing wires that are already installed. So let's have a look. So this device allows you to clip it onto a rail in your power board. As you can see, it's got a really nice clear display on there and an external antenna. And here's your clamp that goes onto the live wire. The beauty about this one is it can measure up to 100 amps. So let's have a look what comes in the box. Opening up the box, we've got the unit itself. Uh, so it's got a nice large LCD screen there. It's got a button which can control the relay you can use to control external devices. We have some LEDs over there. We have our external antenna connector. This is the connector for the actual uh, sensor itself. And here we connect the power and the relay of something we want to control. Then we've got the actual clamp. So as you can see, this little clamp over here, this is the beauty about this device. You just lift it up like that and you clamp it over that existing wire. Inside the box, we've also got the antenna. So there we go. That's our antenna, which should give us a really nice signal. And then we've got a little instruction guide with a QR code. So let's see how this. So once we power it up, you'll see we've got a nice clear display and that toggles between voltage and amps and kilowatt hours and watts. So we open up our Sonoff app, press the little three dots in the top right corner and the scan button, scan the QR code in the package that will detect the device. Next up, we press next and hold the button for five seconds, press next. Then we go along, check that the Wi-Fi is flashing, go yes. It will now connect. It looks at our Wi-Fi. We select our Wi-Fi network, put the code in, and away you go, the device has successfully connected. So remember, you need to connect the clamp over the live wire, not the neutral and not over both, only the live wire. Then the device will start recording the current in amps, the watts or the power, and also the additive kilowatt hours over time. And this will store information for up to six months on the device app. So in order to pull this data into Home Assistant, we're going to go along to settings, add-ons, and we're going to go add-on store. We're going to go repositories, and we're going to type, type in this repository. I will add this in the description below so you can get this. This will basically create the Sonoff add-on into Home Assistant so that we can access the data. So now you can see we've got the eWeLink add-on here. So we click on this and we install that. So now that the eWeLink app has installed, we can just go press start. We can turn on the watchdog and show in sidebar. So that is now running. We can now go open up web UI and now we need to sign in. So we click over here, we select our country. So I'm New Zealand and now I'll put my email address in. Go. Now our eWeLink is logged in and as you can see, we've got the information coming in directly from that device and we can also control that relay inside the device. Now the problem I have is that I'm not sure how to get this data to pull into the energy monitoring system of Home Assistant. So I have spoken to Sonoff about this and apparently they are working on getting this integration up and, right, up and running. But if you've got any ideas how you can do this, please let me know. So overall, I'm really impressed with this little device and I think it's a great way of measuring your energy. However, the limitation of not being able to get that data actually accessible within the Home Assistant system is a problem at the moment. So there are a couple of ways of doing this. One way is to actually flash this device with a Tasmoto software so or ESP Home. So that could definitely be something that is worth looking at. I will leave a link in the description below of a video showing how to flash it and I might do some work on trying to get this working myself. But anyway, that's all for now. 
Please let me know what you think of this device or if you've got any other devices that you've played with for measuring your energy. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more information from this channel. Bye for now.